Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick ACAD 003 Rotating and Scaling by Reference The purpose of the Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk then please contact customer services on 01784 4199 one one. Alternatively, you can email us at customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website, which is www.cadline.co.uk. And please remember, we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products, as well as the one you're about to watch. Okay, so we're going to use the uh, rotate by reference command here. Um, before we deal with the scale by reference. So firstly, by reference, what we mean is we're going to use an object within our drawing to aid us in our rotation process. So for example, this is our chair and we need it to be lined up against this wall. Okay, so firstly, we're going to use the wall is going to be our referenced object. So firstly, I'm going to decide to move this closer to the wall and give us a common point. Now by this, I mean if I move from here and place it, let's say, here, where these two points meet the intersection is the axis about which our rotation is going to take place. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my chair and I'm going to click rotate in the rotate button up here. If I now look at my command line it now says to me specify your base point. Now by that they're saying can you tell me the axis of well, about which your rotation is going to happen. So that is going to be the intersection of our lines. So if I just click here, there we go. Again, if I look at the command line now, it does say specify your rotation angle or copy reference. Now, if we knew the angle of that line, we could simply enter in a value there and it would obviously rotate to that. Now, in this instance, we don't know the angle of that wall. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in R for reference in this case. So R for reference and then hit enter. Now, it will say specify the reference angle. Now, what we need to do is we need to tell AutoCAD the angle that our chair is currently at. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to click on the base point that I specified as being my axis point, And I'm now going to click on the edge of my chair, like so. That has now told AutoCAD that that is the current angle of my chair. I'm now going to rotate round, and I need to tell it the new angle at which the chair needs to be. So if you look on the command line, it says specify the new angle. So if I come up to here, pick a point and click. If I now just zoom into that, you'll find that that now has lined that chair dead against that line. And that has now in fact given us a rotate by reference and made that exactly as we need it. Okay, so scale by reference works in a very similar way. If I draw a line, for example, and I'm just going to draw that line 500 millimeters long, like so. I'm just going to bring my chair now round over to here, and I'm just going to rotate that just for the moment to keep it nice and straight, like so. Okay, so my chair is currently 250 mil wide, which you know I need that to be a little bit bigger. So I want to scale it so it's in fact 500 mil wide. Now we know there that the scale factor would be a scale factor of 2. But in this instance, again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this line and make it slightly bigger, but I have no idea exactly how big that is. So in this instance now, I'm going to select my chair, and I'm just going to use the scale function. Now that scale function is the button just up here in our home modify toolbar. If I click there, Again, it now tells me to specify a base point. Now this is the point at which your object will grow. So for example, in this instance, I'm going to choose the top left hand corner of my chair. So it's going to grow from this point. So if I click there, like so, it now tells me to specify the scale factor on my command line. Now, again, as I said before, we don't know the scale factor exactly because we don't know the, the length of the line in this instance exactly. So I'm now going to use the R again here, the reference command, so R for reference. Now again, 
we need to now specify the current length of the chair or the object. So I'm going to click from here, okay, so the base point, and then select the right hand side of the chair. Now that will tell AutoCAD the length of that current object. If I now move my mouse to the right hand side and snap onto the end point of our line and click, that has now scaled that chair so that the length of that object is the same as the length of the line we drew. And that is how you scale and rotate by reference in AutoCAD. Thank you.